Hello beautiful people, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a second part of my surgery experience and actually today I'm going to talk about the surgery day and how it went for me. So as I said in my previous video, if you guys don't agree or don't like to hear about surgery or plastic surgery, this is the perfect time for you to exit this video but first subscribe because I do film a lot of beauty videos related so this might not be the video for you but this could be the perfect channel for you so yeah I invite you to subscribe and maybe check out my previous videos that I already have up on my channel I guess I will see you in my next one and for those of you who wants to you know, hear my story and how everything went with my surgery. Let's get into it. <laughs> we are going to talk about the surgery day. So I was scheduled for 12. So we uh, went to Barcelona because I got my surgery done there. And they uh, called me if I could go a little bit earlier because apparently someone did cancel their surgery. But you're supposed to be one hour earlier because you also have to do a lot of paperwork to get your stuff into the room and all that stuff by the way this hospital looked like a four star hotel which i was very impressed and um, i did like it there we did got early and at the reception i left my boyfriend with our baggage i also signed more papers i did pick my menu because they do offer you food because i had to stay overnight and then uh, the girl at the reception she told me well you take the elevator you press three and that's it and that was it <laughs> i arrived into a hallway kind of and i was greeted by an assistant or whatever that was and she told me to take my clothing and to put this um, sterilized gown I don't know it was everything so transparent and so paper thin and then I saw my surgeon he asked me if I'm okay if I'm nervous if um, you know I'm afraid and I said you know what I'm super chill and I really was super chill because in my mind something told me that everything is gonna be all right so I have nothing to be afraid of like i had that feeling that everything is gonna be all right and i'm going to walk alive from that surgery room they invited invited me to sit on this um bed in a hallway it was like an open room because there were a lot of people but there were like beds and uh, she put me that thing how is that called Bra Brano? Brano? I don't know. They did give me a liquid. I don't know exactly what that liquid was, but I was on the bed watching at the ceiling and hearing the people talking because there were more surgery rooms. And then after 10 minutes, my surgeon invited me, like I did walk into the surgery room and uh, he did the measurements, the drawing on my body. So they helped me to sit on the surgery bed. They covered me with a blanket, I guess it was. I don't know, it was very cozy. They did ask me a bunch of times if I have any allergies or if I react bad to certain medicine. And I said, no, as far as I know, I, I don't have any allergies or stuff like that. So as I said, I was sitting on the bed. It was a lot of people in the room, my surgeon and a bunch of other people. Uh, and they were preparing stuff around me. And then uh, the person that put you the anesthesia came in the room and it was a man. He didn't introduce himself, like he didn't address me a word. And I felt like it was a little bit awkward, right? hello or how are you anyway she told me to you know to relax because in a few seconds they will put me under so by the time she said that they already put the anesthesia and i said well i'm feeling fine she told me to think about something that makes me happy and she asked me again how was i feeling and i said you know what i'm very relaxed it feels nice it feels very euphoric 
and that sweet sweet um feeling of falling asleep and having zero thoughts into your mind that's exactly how it felt and uh like to me it felt like a very short nap but a good one because when you sleep that deep and you don't hear anything and it, anyway so yeah it was a very nice sleep i was very mad when i heard the assistant waking me up so as i was hearing the assistant waking me because the surgery was done i started to shiver like crazy i was freezing cold my teeth were like oh, 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 oh. the bed was moving i was so cold they had to bring more blankets because I already, I already was covered with a blanket so they had to bring more blankets and also they put this hot tube in there it was like a vacuum but it was in reverse because it was blowing hot air and I was there for like 20 minutes shivering and the assistant was there with me and she kept asking me how I feel I was in pain, I'm not gonna lie I was in very bad pain on my chest and it didn't felt like pressure it was legit pain on my boobs like in the chest area so she did put me something like, I don't know painkiller, whatever that was and in like second my pain was gone but I was shivering so hard and I had all these muscles like contracted because I was so cold, I don't know why. So yeah, I was in that waiting room with that hot tube on me and covered with a lot of blankets for like 20 minutes until I got a little bit warm and they did transfer me to my room. My boyfriend was so worried, he asked me if I feel anything, if I'm okay and I was super sleepy like mad i was very mad because they wake me up from that very sweet and warm dream i was having because it was so bright so warm in there i felt so safe oh my goodness it was so good and let me tell you my boyfriend was so worried he was already in the room they told him the surgery will last about one hour and a half but that wasn't the case i was under anesthesia for about three hours and i think i have a little vlog from that day and i'm going to insert that right now and this is the perfect time to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already hey guys so i just got out of surgery a few hours ago i just had i don't know if that was dinner lunch whatever that was my first meal of the day um it wasn't that delicious okay but the chicken was good anyway so i don't feel pain that's because uh, i'm having a lot of you know things uh going through my body at the moment so i don't feel pain i just feel like discomfort and maybe a little bit of pressure in, in this area so everything is well I still feel dizzy from the anesthesia that's very normal they told me to not make any um, movements like any fast movements because um, I'm getting very dizzy so um, yeah size wise well my doctor told me that he kind of wanted to put 300 cc to 325 cc but i said you know what that's way too much like i didn't want it that much i was in between 280 and 300 so i told him that i want something to fit my frame not too big not too small so he actually went for 285 and i don't know looking from above like this they kind of look the same to me it's a little bit crazy they are not the same obviously there is less weight less volume so so far i'm um i'm looking forward to recover and um, to go back home this shit hurts my boyfriend was worried poor guy he he had tears in his eyes when they brought me in the room and I told him no worries I'm okay 
You don't have to worry. Everything is fine. <sighs> Poor guy. So now he went to eat something because he hadn't eat today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's about to come back now. I don't know what they put on my face. Or maybe I was tearing during the surgery because I feel like I have some crusty tears around my temples. You feel me? Yeah. I'm looking forward to go back home to see my babies and to watch Netflix all day and stay very warm. <laughs> so, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I'm um, having my breakfast. Coffee is not bad. I'm waiting for my doctor to come and see me and then um, go home this hurts I don't know why also my right boob it was very I mean it's still kind of high as you can see here and it hurts as well but it's very tolerant so I'm waiting for my doctor to ask him what's going on why this one hurts and this one doesn't <sighs> overall i had a very bad sleep <laughs> my boyfriend just went to buy some coffee for him because they provide food only for me because i'm the patient okay <laughs> so he went to have some coffee and i told him i want croissants so let's see if he can find croissants i mean I think he will, because we are in Barcelona. My voice is kind of weird because they put me the that oxygen tube yesterday during the surgery, and I woke up. I woke up with a very sore throat. Yeah. So I guess I will see you a little bit later after I see the doctor, and I will have more updates for you guys. So the next morning my surgeon come to see me. It was a very short visit, like five minutes visit. He explained me the size that he put in because uh, he did try different sizes. Like he had in mind three sizes and as I told him before uh, going to surgery, I wanted the smaller size. He also gave me the prescription for the medicine that I had to take for one week 10 days 10 days more than one week and then we got home that day and it was a little bit awkward because i wanted to do stuff around the house but i couldn't and i shouldn't okay <laughs> uh it was hard for me to get off the bed if i was laying but you can't lay completely flat <laughs> completely flat you have to lay down on an angle i don't know exactly the science behind this but he told me like the boobs don't have to come up here when i lay completely flat so yeah that was the only thing that i found hard for me to do on my own you have to wear something with buttons or zippers so you don't have to rise your hands and i guess that's it for my uh, surgery day and the day after as i'm telling you i wasn't in pain at all that's because of the medicine obviously everything was super tight not gonna lie everything was very tight especially this one it was a little bit higher i don't know he told me that he had more more work to do on this side and this side was very inflamed very bruised and very up here so it took a while to go completely down i feel like right now it's still not completely down after two months and i'm going to get into this later with my uh, videos but i had some issues with this one so yeah i'm going to explain you on another video so I guess that's it for today. I'm going to try to keep these videos as short as possible, but I still want to include all the information and everything that happened to me, everything that I experienced. And uh, if you are familiar with this type of surgery, or maybe you got your boobs done as well, or maybe you want to get your boobs done, 
uh, I really hope my videos are helpful for you to make a decision or to put other things into perspective after hearing my story so I really hope this video is helpful I guess that's it I hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already take care and I will see you in my next one bye guys